What if I told you that you can make plastic out of potatoes, or cornstarch, or almost any plant matter? Well, that would be true. But an important term to keep in mind is renewable energy. But before we get into it, let's look at how this affects you. Well, if you are planning to use plastic anytime soon, chances are that you are adding to the skyrocketing demand for plastic production. Since single-use plastics are being banned in most of the planet, we are looking towards ways of making environmentally friendly plastic. And if we don't, it could have devastating consequences. So, what are bio-based plastics, and why are they important? Let's talk about a little term called greenwashing. It's a common marketing tactic which companies use by throwing around terms such as organic, compostable, biodegradable, and even environmentally friendly. But do they know what that means? Do we know what that means? For this reason, we're going to look carefully at this information and understand what's going on. First and foremost, let's understand the true benefit of using biomass. Currently, we're using fossil fuel-based plastics, which are a limited resource, which means that we have a limited amount of them on our planet. But that's not what we're going to focus on. We're going to look at how they have stored carbon that dates back thousands of years. From this perspective, the benefit of using bio-based plastics allows us to use carbon that was recently removed from our environment. By using bio-based plastics, we are using carbon that was recently removed from our atmosphere through photosynthesis. For bio-based plastics to function correctly in any desired application, it is important to keep the following barrier properties in mind. This must be achieved without the use of any toxic binder or additives that could have harmful effects on the end user or our environment. Out of all the plastic produced annually, bioplastics only represent 1% of it. And that can be used primarily for cups, food containers, bags, packaging, and even 3D printing filaments. But we haven't started talking about hemp yet. So where does hemp fit into all this? Hemp plastic is currently on the front lines of the bioplastics industry due to its very special properties. There are no mainstream hemp products that are made exclusively of hemp. However, Hemp is combined with other bio-based plastics in order to achieve the desired results. Trendsetters in the hemp bioplastic market are using 30% hemp and 70% PLA with other bio-based binders. Plastics industry is set to face a series of challenges before it can be adopted into wide-scale use. Before bio-based plastics are approved for a variety of applications, they must undergo testing procedures, and these testing procedures will ensure that the material can withstand the environment, whether it's shelf life or against various elements. And it will also ensure that the material stands by its name, whether it's biodegradable, compostable, etc. Without the government's involvement, it might not be possible to ensure wide-scale use of bio-based plastics, as government policies and regulations could be a major stepping stone for businesses to jump on board. This is important to keep in mind. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comments section below. And if you would like to keep watching content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Together we can make a global impact and really contribute to the healing of our planet. Individually, we are one drop, but together we are an ocean. Let's make a difference. Hemp save Earth.